Hi guys, this is Alex from Land Rover Tech and today I'll show you how to replace front brake pads and rotors on your Range Rover and Range Rover Sport in step-by-step -step guide. It's pretty straightforward procedure and I think there is no need to pay thousands of dollars to dealerships. The parts you can find in the description below. For this job you will need a jack, a C-clamp, a hammer, screwdrivers, socket wrench, a strap, breaker bar, 17 millimeter wrench, pick tool, metal brush, 13 millimeter and Torx 50 sockets, 21 millimeter and 22 millimeter sockets, jack stand and brake cleaner. First of all, we need to lock the suspension in access mode, so let me show how to do it. Press this button just once and then hold it till you see the lock on the dashboard. And don't forget to put it on parking brake. Jaguar Land Rover lug nuts are pretty soft, so I do not recommend to use power tools. I'm using just regular breaker bar and 22 millimeter socket. And now we're ready to lift up the car. Always use a jack stance, it's your safety. Now we are ready to remove the wheel. In order to get more room for this job, we will need to turn the steering wheel to the opposite side. So I'm doing left and I will turn it to the right. On the left side, you will find brake pad wear sensor. There is only one sensor per axle. So we have one sensor in the front left side and one in the rear right side. So just simply take it off and put it on the side. Here we have two 13 millimeters bolts holding the caliper in place. One on the top right here and one in the bottom. Using 17 millimeter wrench hold this knot and loose 13 millimeter bolt on top. There we go. Let's do the same thing on the bottom. And now we are ready to compress the caliper. To do that I am using just regular C-clamp. That's it. Let's do it from the bottom too. Yep. And now we are ready to remove the bolts. First bolt. Here's our brake pads.
My brake pads are about 30% left and I'm filming this DIY because you were asking to do so. Here we are. I will use a strap to put the caliper on the side. Using a screwdriver, remove the old spring clips. There is only one bolt that holding the rudder in place. It's a Torx 50 and it's right here. Let's remove it. If the rudder got stuck, you can use the hammer and just hammer it from different sides. I'm doing it very carefully because I don't have new parts to install. And now I'll slide a screwdriver between the rudder and the caliper bracket. Yeah, it moved a little bit, so now we are ready to remove the caliper bracket. In order to remove the bracket, I will use 21 millimeter socket and breaker bar. There are two bolts that we need to unscrew, one on the top and one in the bottom. You know, it's pretty tough. I will use my cheater tool. Yep. And the same with the bottom one. our bracket now we are ready to remove the rudder let's put the caliper on the side here we go here's our rudder next step is to clean the surface I, I have lost somewhere my big brush, so I'm using a small one, sorry. Let's put all back together. Torx 50. Clean up the spots where metal spring clips go. And 
And now we are ready to install it back. Start with the bottom bolt. And now it's time for a breaker bar. Yep. Yeah, it's good. Most likely you will have new clips. I don't, so I'll clean this up too. And simply slide it back. Put some brake caliper grease, just a little bit, on these spots. Lubricate it. Now you can slide new brake pads in. The brake pad with this pin goes outside. If you don't have new balls for the caliper, you have to use thread lock in order to prevent losing them. Put the balls back. Yep, good to go. Next step is replacing the sensor. In order to do that, we have to remove the plastic. Remove three plastic clips. Here's the one. Number two. Number three. And there is some more screws to remove. And two more screws from the bottom. Now we can remove the plastic. Now you can slide out the sensor from its spots. This way. And here's the connector. I don't want to break the clip because I don't have new sensor, so just simply take it off like that 
and put it the same way we removed it. So. Let's clean it up. Have some mud after off-roading. was hard and slide it back the same way you removed it and one more behind. And slide it back into inner brake pad. That's it, put the plastic back. Let's start with plastic lips. and two on the bottom. To compress the caliper into the position, we have to push the brake pedal till it gets hard. Yep. That's it guys, this is how you replace front brake pads and rotors on Range Rover and Range Rover Sport. I really appreciate every like and comment you leave on my videos because it helps my channel growing. I'm glad to be helpful and I'm really enjoying getting feedback from you. Let me know in the comments below which DIY videos would you like to see on my channel. Subscribe and stay tuned. Don't forget to ring the bell and have a good day.